It's day two of the Can-Am Crown International Sled Dog Races in Fort Kent, which included results for two of the three races. New Center Maine's Carly Dion brings us a story from the awards ceremony at Lonesome Pine Ski Lodge. The winners of the Can-Am 30 and 100 mile races were announced today in an awards ceremony. Each of the top three receiving a plaque and money. But winning isn't always the goal of this sport. As one musher will tell you, sled dog racing is really about never losing heart. As soon as I can stand. I've always wanted to do the Can-Am. New Hampshire native Catherine Marcoux is a rookie this year to the Can-Am 30. It's her longest race to date. So this was very anxiety ridden. Um, doing a race this long. Good luck, Catherine. Good luck. But she made it across the finish line, a feat not every competitor manages to do. Very few people that race dogs or own dogs or run dogs can race a Can-Am race trail and finish it. Marcou receiving a unique award for her accomplishment. I find it, it's harder to sometimes to win the, the Red Lantern Award than it is to win other awards. The Red Lantern Award given to the musher in each race who finishes in last place. Finishing a Can-Am race is something you've got to be proud of. This award, a tradition dating back to the early days of the Iditarod race, a symbol of grit, determination and perseverance. Um, when she came in, she was in tears. And I definitely didn't anticipate the amount of hills that it was. This challenge forcing her to switch her six dog lineup several times along the course. On top of that, Marcou traveled more than seven hours to be here this weekend without a handler or extra support. I've been running the team by myself, training by myself. It's, it's hard. But Marcou says she was determined to make it to the end, being motivated by the promise of sleep and food and for her dogs. I just wanted to see my dogs complete this race. Marcou saying her bottom line is, even when it gets hard, never lose heart. And Marcou tells me throughout the course, she kept telling herself she's not coming back next year, but she's already changed her mind on that. In Fort Kent, Carly Dion, New Center, Maine.